The full frame Canon EOS RP and the RF 50mm f1.8 lens look like the perfect combination. A lightweight setup with great ergonomics and a low price tag. Canon have been firing out new camera models in the last year and they've certainly been impressive like the R6, the R5 and now the R3. But they're all thousands of pounds and the lenses are thousands of pounds more. And not everyone has thousands of pounds to spend on a camera setup. Wouldn't it be nice though if we could get professional results with a camera without spending lots of money on one. Now the aim of the video today is to show you how the RP and the RF 50mm f1.8 perform when taking photos in different situations. I know that there are plenty of you out there that are either interested in the world of full frame or maybe you want to start up a photography business and you don't have thousands of pounds to get started with. Today you find me at Litchfield, one of the smallest cities in the UK. Starting off at the Cathedral, the Canon RP and the RF 50mm f1.8 is lightweight camera setup and a great combination when used together. Starting off with the Cathedral door, all photos today are straight out of the camera. The reason for this is I'm not going to be doing any photo editing. This is so you can see the quality of the camera and lens before any of that magic is applied. Being a 50mm lens, full cathedral shots kind of out of the question. So I'm looking to find a few interesting angles around this huge building. Can never read. No oh, I forgot to say by the way, my dad is along for the ride today, so you may see him pop up at times in the video. Because it's like the gateway to something, isn't it? Look at the legs on it. Yeah, yeah, stick out of this. Yeah, fucking sticking. So and so. I'll delete you out of the video, you rascal. To catch it, the epic nature of this building, I'm shooting straight up at f8 and a shutter speed of 1 over 125 with ISO of 100. This delivers a great balance in light and dark of the overall image. This video of course is not a cathedral tour, just in case you were wondering, I am moving on to capture some more close up shots in a moment to test out this lens's 1 by one macro ability. And is it able to shoot closer than the EF 50mm f1.8? The RF 50mm lens offers quick autofocus, which is pretty snappy, but a little noisy at times. It does take a lovely photo though, with great centre sharpness. Oh, beautiful flowers. I really like the contrast between the white and the red here. So let's get in close and capture a shot shooting at f2.8. This gives the background plenty of blur at this aperture. If you want to see a full review on the Canon EOS RP, there is a box showing up at the top of the video which will take you right there. Yeah. <laughs> Cast a shadow, Dad. That's it. That's the one. Definitely looks better without sunlight on it. <laughs> Phew, looks like I got the shot just before the wind took it. I wanted to capture a few portraits with this camera setup as the 50mm lens and the RP make a great portrait combination. Being Canon's lowest price full frame mirrorless camera, the RP is appealing to many people on a set budget and having a range of lower cost RF lenses now available 
is great news indeed. Hopefully you have been able to use these images as a guide so far to let you know if this combination, well, meets your expectations. I photographed weddings myself with the RP and the 50mm f1.8. I was extremely impressed with the results. There's no doubt in my mind that you can use this combination for professional photography, especially portraits and weddings. There are some drawbacks though. There has to be, right? Because otherwise it wouldn't be this cheap. If you're shooting video, I actually wouldn't recommend the Canon RP anymore. There are better choices available currently with 4K and a reliable autofocus together. Also, this setup has no IBIS, image stabilization, which means you have to ensure you are shooting at a higher shutter speed handheld, which is gonna give you less light to work with overall. Also, at higher ISOs, the Canon RP doesn't perform great with clearly visible noise sometimes present. But overall, it's a great combination. I would highly recommend to anybody looking to get into the world of full frame. And if you have any questions about this setup, guys, make sure you ask below in the comments. I'm here to help. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video today. And if you're looking for a good video to watch next, please check out my comparison between the RP and the R6 showing somewhere around about here. Thanks for being here today for the video, guys. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.